What we have here is the Polaroid Spectra 1200 SI. This is an older Polaroid, not really sure when it was released, early 2000s probably, and it uses the Polaroid Spectra film, which is a little bit larger than the typical square Polaroid pictures that we're used to. Finding the film for this thing was honestly a pain in the ass. Sure, it's available on the website. Well, the, the black and white film, which I really wanted to use, isn't available. It's all sold out, but you know, I'd much prefer if I'm just in Target and happen to see it, I'd pick it up or, or Best Buy whatever the case may be. But weirdly enough, I was in Micro Center, which is a computer store, and they had a pack of film. So my attitude going into this was, I have one pack of film. That's it. I'll figure it out as I go. And what better time to test this out than going to a reunion show of my friend's band, Athena's Fury. Athena's Fury was huge when I was a teenager going to these local music shows here. These guys haven't played together in 10 years, so to me, perfect opportunity to take some really memorable photos. So let's go. I really wasn't expecting or prepared to fire off my first shot, but there was a nice photo op on the stage where everybody kind of got together. I think the Bronx Times was taking a picture or something, I don't remember. But in any case, I ran up to the stage and I quickly fired off a shot and I made my first mistake. So here's what I learned. Uh, one of the mistakes I made so far is the autofocus indicator has that little red dot. And I thought that meant that it was on, but it turns out that's actually the autofocus override. So we'll flip that back up and now we should be in business. Also, I think the music thing was off. We'll see what that uh, actually does. Very excited. All right, let's get back to it. All yeah, right, well, my first shot was out of focus, but it's about the process. Now we know. And honestly, it's just a cool keepsake to see a bunch of my friends together like that. Oh, and by the way, this is what the music thing does. It's probably a light meter, some indication that it's not bright enough, maybe? I don't know. Athena's Fury was about to go on and someone had given Jay a rose, so I thought that was a cool shot. He was out back and uh, I just snapped a quick photo of him. I really like this one. Shortly after that shot, they all went on stage, they brought their gear out, I put my camera on the stage because I was recording the set anyway, and I took two quick candids of them just before they started playing on stage. Keeping in tradition what I normally do with Polaroids, I just put it right back into the box. I let them develop, you shield them from light, you know the drill. The other thing too is it kind of makes you live a little bit more in the moment and not really chimp your photos. If, if you can chimp on a Polaroid, I don't really know. Anyway, the set started and I jumped down into the crowd. I snapped two more photos during their set and I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the colors and the way everything's getting rendered. I especially like that there's like almost an airy dreamy quality to the lights up there. Probably from a little bit of the handshake on the camera. A couple of songs in I don't think anybody was ready for the special guest performer they had. So uh, of course I had to fire off a shot. I'm really stoked with how this one came out, but around this time of the shoot I started to wonder, how many shots have I taken so far? I didn't even realize where the frame counter was on the camera until this moment, and then I saw the number 7 and I thought, eh. The other problem was I wasn't sure if that was that counting up, did that mean I had 7 left, did I take 7? I, I don't know. So many questions. The next frame would hold the answer. Well, good news and bad news. The good news is I got a banger. I really love this shot. It's probably my favorite one from the night. The bad news is the number one uptick. Number eight. I looked at the pack of film and uh, sure enough. So I was out of shots and that's a real bummer because I only had the one pack of film. And I was really kicking myself because later on in the night they brought out a birthday cake for Stefan and Jay. Their birthdays were the day of the show and the day before. It was a real bummer and I would have loved to get a shot of that, but eh, it is what it is. It's a great lesson to learn to be a little bit more conservative. A lesson that I should already know, but hey, no one's perfect. So overall, this was a blast. The show was a ton of fun. It was great to see all my old friends, and it was great taking this camera out and using it, despite the fact that I really didn't know much about it at all. 
Sometimes more than anything, you just gotta take the camera and go shooting for yourself. A night like this and putting this video together, it really reminds me why I love doing this. The photos aren't perfect, but years from now, I'm not really gonna be focused on the fact that maybe the rollers were a little bit dirty and the frames weren't exposed properly on the right side. I'm gonna remember how great of a night it was. I'm gonna remember seeing all my friends play. And who knows, maybe in 10 years, Athena's Fury will play again and I'll go shoot on another Polaroid camera. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching another video and let me know in the comments below what you think of this new series. I, I happen to like it a lot and uh, it's my channel so I'm gonna keep making more of these. But in all seriousness, it is nice to do something a little bit different on the channel. So seriously, I would love to hear your feedback and if there are things you think I should do differently in the future, hey, let me know and I hope you like the name because you guys voted on it. We could have had I Shot My Wad, but anyway guys, you know where to find me. Discord, Instagram, MySpace, uh, here, Smash subscribe and like i'll see you in the next video much love talk soon bye stage where everybody kind of got together i think the new york times was taking up not the new york times what the fuck <laughs> the bronx times idiot like and subscribe sweet new photography the man